Friday. Hope you guys are doing well today. I'm doing all right. Get ready to go and get my hair done. Stopped at Starbucks because I wanted to try that new frozen strawberry acai with lemonade. Tastes about the same to me. It's just frozen. But it's still good. So, I mean, it's the drink that I always get when I go to Starbucks. And I got me a coffee cake warm. I'm getting ready to head on to the shop and get my hair done. And then I think I'm going to go and go to the park for a little bit and just do some journaling and stuff today and reading. I started on my Viola Davis book but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and jump off of here and i'll talk to you guys a little bit later hey guys happy saturday hope you guys are doing well on today hope your saturday is going well my saturday has been busy today but it's going pretty good as you guys can see i am dolled up <laughs> this evening because one of the ladies that i know oh i got my thing back up here too my pad for my camera i'm gonna probably have to order some more from um, amazon because i think i only have one more in the pack but anyway i am dolled up tonight because one of the ladies that i know she graduated with her doctorate in nursing and so she is celebrating tonight so it's cocktail attire so hopefully this is cocktail enough y'all know as much stuff as i be buying i really don't be having stuff when it comes down to like certain like if they want you to dress a certain kind of way then i feel like i still gotta go and buy something but today i wasn't going to buy nothing i said this dress that i bought from discovery is gonna is gonna have to work it's gonna be cocktailish attire enough for for me in this event tonight today i used two different palettes but really one color and one palette both of them are from the beauty supply store and that's how i came up with this look i'll show you guys that if i remember once i get home and then i did use my giorgio armani foundation today and uh, i got on my fenty lip oh god this rain is coming back oh Y'all, it rained. It's been raining all week, really. But it rained this morning. It rained this afternoon. And now it's raining again. It's getting ready to start raining again, I should say. Um, but I got on my Fenty. I forget the Fenty lip. One of her new ones. And I have on Night Moth Lip Liner with that. This is what we looking like tonight. I have on a Beauty Supply Highlighter. This is from the Magic Collection. This is how the highlighter looks. I have on the Rare Beauty Highlighter and Flaunt. Oh, I'm wearing my perfume today, y'all. It smells really good. I really like this perfume. It smells amazing. But anyway, I'm getting ready to jump on off of here. And um, I guess I will try to get some footage once I get there. Gary, you need me to get it for you? Oh, that's okay. 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 Oh, thank you. <laughs> And she came and she interviewed for that position. And after meeting her and talking with her and interacting with her and challenging her, I knew that was somebody or someone that I would love to have on my leadership team. And so I hired her into that role, and the rest is history. able to stand on his word. His word, Philippians 4 and 13, I can do all things through Christ Amen. who strengthened me. I was extremely stressed, but by faith, God placed extraordinary people in my path who helped me complete this journey. For that, I am forever grateful. Special thanks to my mother. Amen. Without her, I would not be here. My mother has always encouraged and supported me. She let me know all the time how proud she is of me and how she always wanted nothing but the best for her children. She is one of my biggest cheerleaders. Blessed to have her as my mom, and I dedicate this degree to you. <laughs>
good time. Stayed longer than I had planned, but you know, that's always to be expected when you're having a great time. So it was really nice. It was nice to catch up with a few people tonight. And it was just nice to celebrate Lawanda tonight. I didn't get a whole lot of footage tonight because I was really enjoying the moment. The footage that I did get, I'm going to, um, you guys would have already seen that by now. But I truly, truly enjoyed myself tonight. And everybody loved my dress, y'all. I got a lot of compliments on this dress and... $15 from Discovery. Hey guys, I am back home and I quickly wanted to show you guys some of the makeup products that I used today. Something that's new, I did pick this up from the beauty supply store yesterday because I had to go in there and I saw this by Ruby Kisses. This is their cream contour palette. I think this is in the darkest shade and I thought this was cute. It was like $3.99 so that's why I got it and I used I used this today. I used this to conceal underneath my eye a little bit. I still went in with my Costas concealer, but I started with this one. And then I used this one to um, contour. The eyeshadow palettes that I used today, they're both by the Beauty Supply. I know this one I picked up uh, this year. This is the Ruby Kisses Gemstones 24K Nude. I considered getting the Mario Master palette, but the ones with the, the colors, I forget the name of that one, but I considered getting that one. But this one, I mean, I, I really feel like I don't need that. Maybe if I still want it, maybe doing the Sephora fall sale, if they still have it available, I'll get it. But I use this today and I only really use one shade in here which is this one and that was towards the end of my eyeshadow look and then the other one the main one that I use today is the Nika K Jungle Haze palette this palette this is a really nice palette for $3.99 like the pigmentation is amazing so I went in with this green shade here I use this green shade then I went on top of that with this one and I used a little bit of this um, in the center and in my inner tear duct. And then I went in with this shade and then I went in with this shade and this shade. This palette is absolutely beautiful and I used a little bit of this today as well. Hopefully I can make it to Sunday school tomorrow. Y'all that would be terrible if I don't make it to Sunday school. And I was sitting by both of my teachers tonight. <laughs> So hopefully, uh, you know, I can make it to Sunday school, so, but I'm tired, so, um, but at least I know what I'm wearing to church tomorrow, I have that, um, ready, I just need to get up and iron that, so I'm gonna try to get up early tomorrow so I can get up and do what I need to do, so. Anyway, I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Hope you guys are doing well today. Hope your weekend has been really good. My weekend has been good. It's been busy. Like I told you guys last night, I went to go and celebrate LaWanda for graduating with her doctorate. Now today, I the struggle was real with getting up, trying to do all of the things. Um, go to Sunday school, well log in for Sunday school get dressed for service um i had to iron this morning i had to iron this dress which i got from y'all would never believe where i got this dress from because <laughs> i'm always talking about discovery but no i actually got this dress from tj maxx isn't it cute this is, so well, this is how it's looking this is my dress it's really cute and really flowy and comfortable so i really really like this dress and uh, i had to take my grandfather to do a couple of things this morning and then headed on to church and now i'm out of church and uh, i am waiting for i ordered a pizza today because that's what we're gonna have for dinner and i'm waiting for that to um be ready so i got like maybe 10 12 more minutes before it's ready so I'm just sitting here and I thought that I would chit chat with you guys this morning. Today I did use my Giorgio Armani foundation, which I really like that foundation. And then I used my LA Color Sunkiss palette. And then I used my Fenty Lip and MVP. And that's it. That's all I did today. I have these earrings on from Discovery. I bought these to sing in. Well, I didn't buy these. Actually, my friend uh, got these for me because I needed some earrings to sing in on Wednesday night. So she got these for me. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking like today, y'all. Hey guys, happy, woohoo, what's today? Today is Friday, happy Friday evening. Hope you guys are doing well. No, 
I'm sorry, today is not Friday. <laughs> Y'all see, I'm ready for Friday already. Today is Thursday night. Happy Thursday. I hope you guys are doing well today. I am coming to you guys. I know I said I wasn't going to do a whole lot of hauls, but I do have a small haul. It is makeup from the beauty supply store and from, from Ulta. So I'm going to start with Ulta first i was watching i think her name is barbie barbell i will list her name down in the comments but i like watching her channel and she mentioned this mascara by milani it's the uh tubing mascara and i have it in black and she was just raving about it and i was intrigued so i decided to give this mascara a try so hopefully i will love it two high-end mascaras that i really love one i got for christmas is the ysl mascara i really really like that one and of course the huda beauty uh it's the double-sided mascara by huda beauty i love that one as well so um if this one compares to either one of those then i'm going to be really happy with it the next thing that i got from ulta that i really wanted to try out it's by tarte i have tried the tarte shape tape concealer before but now they have come out with the radiant shape tape concealer and that's what i wanted to try and i got mine in the shade 53m which is deep this is the packaging on that so i really cannot wait to to try this one out Oh. I haven't had the Shape Tape Concealer in a while, but I'm excited for that one. And then the last thing that I picked up out of there, um, I, I saw these advertised, but I wasn't, this wasn't really on my radar until I walked past and saw it. This is the Squeeze Me Lip Balm by Elf, and I got mine in Vanilla Frosting. You guys know I love vanilla, although I was not going to get vanilla. I was going to get strawberry, but they were sold out of the strawberry one, and it was another another one that they were sold out of so they only had the kiwi and the vanilla one so i was like well vanilla only makes sense for me so um so yeah i got this so hopefully i like this because the last lip balm by elf i did not love it at all they were like in a longer tube i just i didn't love it and then from the beauty supply store now this is where my story comes in so one of my eyeshadow palettes i think is by ruby kisses it's my jade palette um, one of the eyeshadows in the pan broke and I really I really don't like it with my eyeshadow palettes when they break and since that palette was so inexpensive I was going back in there with the purpose of repurchasing that then I found two other eyeshadow palettes by Nika K and I wanted to get a couple more of her eyeshadow palettes because I love the junk I think it's the jungle palette that I showed you guys in this vlog so I saw two more palettes from Nika K that I just went on ahead and got because they were so inexpensive so I did not repurchase the palette that I went in there to get <laughs> so anyway I got this palette by Nika K it's the Sahara Gold palette which is really pretty so I cannot wait to try to play around with this one and then I got this one it was really really cute this is the Malibu Night palette oh my god oh and by the way this was $3.99 and this one, this is the palette that I'm talking about, Malibu Nights. I thought this was really cute. And this was $4.99. I thought I could do a really pretty, kind of colorful look. But this is absolutely gorgeous, y'all. And then I just picked up, of course, you see a brush you just gotta have. Um, I picked up this Nika K blending brush. And this is how it looks. But yeah, that's everything that I got. <laughs>
Hey guys, it's me. Hope you guys have been enjoying your day today. I had a full day today. Today is Friday. I didn't get a chance to vlog for you guys as much as I thought I was, but um, you guys saw a little bit of what I did. I had to go to the laundromat to wash my car cover seats, so I got that done. And then um, I went and got my car washed, and I went to... Where else did I go? I went to Trader Joe's. I think I went to, I did. I went in Walmart. I went to Aldi, Dollar Tree. Aldi didn't have some of the things that I needed, so I'm gonna have to go back to another Aldi. Trader Joe's didn't have some of the things that I wanted, so I just didn't get all the things that I wanted. But I'm not gonna show you guys everything that I got because you know you guys pretty much see all of the stuff that I buy all the time. But I'll show you guys a few things from a couple of the stores. So from, from Trader Joe's, I got these pretty roses. Aren't these gorgeous? I thought these were like perfect. So I'm going to put these in the base. And then I got some Raymond cups. These are uh, spicy Raymond. So I'm going to zhuzh this up a little bit. I don't know why I'm buying Raymond because... I am, I've had Raymond all throughout college, so I really shouldn't be buying this. And then I needed some more um, coconut oil. Got some bananas and some more potatoes. I went in Whole Foods. I wanted to try, I was watching Beautiful Brown Baby Doll, I think it is. And she was talking about these, uh, it's called Catalina Crunch. And I wanted to try like some of their cookies and like the trail mix, but they don't have them in store at all. And so, well, they didn't have them in the stores that I was at, so I was like, forget it. And it's really kind of expensive to order it offline if you, you know, if you want to buy in a bulk. Um, I don't want to buy in a bulk. I just want to try it out and see if I'm going to like it. So that's what I was really looking for in Target and Whole Foods. They only had the cereal in Whole Foods and in Walmart. I didn't want the cereal. I got these 365 mismatch sandwich cookies just so I could have something to snack on. Sometimes I'd be looking for something to snack on, y'all. And um, I got this breakfast idea from her as well, and I'm going to try it. So I'm going to be doing some breakfast tacos. So I went and got some 365 chicken and maple breakfast sausage. I do like the chicken and maple breakfast sausage. Um, I've tried the Applegate brand, not the 365 brand, but the 365 brand was cheaper. So I got two boxes and you get 10 in each Walmart. I didn't get much out of there because they didn't have a lot of stuff that I was looking for either. But I did get me a, a Kit Kat mint dark chocolate. You guys know I like this one. And then I just got some real bacon pieces to add to a salad. Then I picked up some of the Taco Bell hot sauce to put on my breakfast tacos. And then I just got another herb and garlic with lemon juice marinade to marinate my pork chops with because I did buy some pork chops. Target. Got a few new things out of there. Well, not new, but some things I really need to restock on. I went and got some more peanut butter so I could start doing my smoothies and stuff. Again, um, I got some of these Mission Zero Net Carbs Original uh, Tortillas for my tacos, breakfast tacos. I got another exfoliant mat, not mat, uh, mitt, <laughs> uh, because the one I have now, it's time for that to go. So I saw this one and I picked it up. And I got some more of my Periodontics Active gum repair toothpaste this is what my dentist recommends for me i got some gum i got some more foaming hand wash for the bathroom and then i picked up this i've been hearing a lot of great things about this and uh i, I don't know why i'm just now i'm just now really kind of hearing about it i think i've seen it but didn't really pay attention to it but this is the bio oil skincare oil this is good for scars stretch marks uneven skin tone aging and dehydrating skin so i thought i would give this a, a try I did not want the big size. I was looking for the smallest size. I couldn't find it. So I said, let me just go ahead and get this. So I'm going to be um, trying this out. If you guys have tried this, let me know how this has worked for you. Yeah, and everything else. I just got some uh, a chopped Caesar salad and I got some dinners from my grandfather. Y'all already know the same dinners I always get from him. A pot pie, some spaghetti, and some uh, Salisbury steak. Let's see. Aldi, Aldi, Aldi. I mean, I pretty much got the same old stuff. I got some eggs. I don't think I really got anything different from Aldi. Let me see. Nope, I didn't. Oh, 
I did. I got these. Um, I, I saw these on Instagram and I was like, ooh, when I go to Aldi, I'm going to try these out. These are the Stroop Waffle Vanilla Ice Cream Sandwiches. Don't these look good? So I was like, oh, I'm going to try those. So they had them and I went to get them. I did stop at Home of the Hoagie. They have one now in Country Club Hills. So I stopped out there to get me and my grandfather just a regular steak sandwich. So I'll show you guys that. Let me put this stuff up. Okay, y'all. So I wanted to come back on here because I never did get a chance to share with you guys. I bought some more meal prep bowls and they're glass. I really like these. These are the 365 bowls from Ikea. And you do have to buy the top and the bowl separately but they were not expensive at all and I just thought these were really nice so I'm probably going to use these for my pasta salad whenever I get the rest of the ingredients for it so I got a total of four and here's the rest of the top so I definitely have to clean these but I wanted to show you guys those and then I picked up a just a like an oil uh, container because the one that I got from the Dollar Tree I bought it like twice and it just kept giving out on me so I decided to try this one and see how this one works and then I just got a little decor piece this one says book lover and uh, I thought this was really cute to put somewhere so I'm not sure when I'm gonna put this up or if it'll even be here but I definitely wanted to have this it says a book lover is a person who enjoys reading a book lover spiritual home is a rambling and cluttered magical bookstore and imaginarium for the mind and, sens and senses so I thought this was really cute okay y'all here's my food I cut half of my sandwich so I only have half on my plate and I only have a little bit of my fries on my plate so this is a uh, steak hoagie sandwich I haven't had one of these it's been years y'all so I am really excited my grandfather I got it really because I knew that he would like it so something different I'm gonna eat up and I got me some sweet tea that I'm gonna drink that grandpa made so bon appetit to me <laughs> 